Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about how you can remove and delete those empty rows in your data tables or from screen scraping when you're using UiPath. So to start this off, I'm going to create a new process. I'm going to kind of call it Delete Empty. That'll create the basic project. And what I want to do is I want to go into this project. I'm actually going to copy a PDF file that I'm going to screen scrape into this project folder. So this project is called Delete Empty. I'll head over into my UiPath folder, which is Documents, UiPath, and then Delete Empty. And I'm actually just going to paste that file in there. Now this file, as you can see, it's actually got a couple of rows in it and then it's got a bunch of empty rows and if you do screen scraping which is exactly what I'm going to do now I'm going to open the main window and then I'm going to do data scraping and I'm going to select that row on the file to data scrape when I do this data scraping it's actually going to pull in not the only the two rows that I want but also the other eight rows that I don't want so for example if I've done that screen scraping and then I add a for each row. And then in the for each row, I just output the information from the first column. I'll do a little right line. And say row at zero. Notice that when I run this program, as it goes through, it's actually written out not only the information that I want, two and four. Remember, I just output the first row, so the first column there, so two and four. It printed that out, but it also printed out blank for all of the other columns. So how do you fix that? Well, the, the key is to add a filter, and it'll be a delete filter. So I'll filter a data table, and I'll put that up here, so for each row, I'll do it before the for each row. And this is all stored in this data table, extract data table. I'm gonna click on the filter wizard and the input and the output are gonna be the same because I'm gonna be taking the extract data table from the screen scraping and then deleting all the rows and then saving it so that it has no empty rows in it. And what I'll do is just click remove anytime that column zero is empty. And that's it. Now, if you know, if there's other conditions there, you know, you can add another condition here that says and column one is empty and column two is empty. And if you've named your columns, you can put in quotes the name of the column. So ID or username or customer or something like that. But this will make sure that any column that doesn't have a number in it and nothing in the first column, we use zero base counting, anything that doesn't have a number in it is going to be removed. So I'll click OK. Now I'll click Save. So again, notice all of these empty lines here. I'm going to rerun this application. And notice it's only printed out the lines that have data in it. And there you go. And there you go. That's how easy it is to remove those empty rows. Now, if you enjoyed this, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great enterprise software development tutorials over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.